Textiles give you the convenience of taking your favorite text settings and saving them into a reusable format. In order to create a textile, go to the Resource Browser, click on Resources, New Resource, New Textile. Here, you can name your textiles and adjust the settings such as font, spacing, alignment, etc. When you're finished adjusting your textile, then click OK. Alternately, textiles can be created by clicking on the Text tool, then clicking on the Textiles drop-down. It can also be created by clicking on the Text menu drop-down in the menu bar, and then Format Text, or right-clicking or control-clicking if you're on a Mac in the Textiles section in the Resource Browser. When textiles are created, they are then saved in the Resource Browser under the Textiles section. You will see that the Resource Browser gives you a preview of the text and name below to make it easier to sift through textiles if you have a number of them that you've created. You can now take this textile and drag and drop it onto existing text in the document. This will work with text-based objects such as text boxes, callouts, and general notes, as well as plugins such as windows, doors, and hardscapes. You can also select text in the Object Info palette, click on the Textile drop-down to select a textile that you've created. You also have the ability of selecting a piece of text and then in the Object Info palette, selecting a textile to only change the selected text. Once a textile is set for the text in an object, it now becomes Style Text. If you make changes to the original textile, it would cause the object set with this style to be automatically updated. If you change the text individually of the object itself and not the textile, the object will then revert back to unstyled. This concludes our Video Tech Tip installment. For more Video Tech Tips and How-Tos, please visit kbase.vectorworks.net. Thank you for joining us, and have a wonderful day.